Since 2008, the city of Barcelona, like so many others in Europe, has suffered the effects of an unprecedented economic, financial and social crisis. The crisis has had an impact on all residents, increasing the number of people at risk of exclusion. Many of them, who had never before had to use the social services centres, are now seeking all sorts of support and aid there. For the government, this situation poses the problem of adapting policies and services to the new reality. These changes are a huge challenge, particularly for the city councils, as the closest representatives of the people and the level of government that must adapt to growing demand and new types of users. In order to address this, the Barcelona municipal government has made the fight against the effects of the crisis its top priority in order to prevent social exclusion and marginalization. People are the goal, and especially the most vulnerable. Following the recommendations of the resolution the European Commission passed in 2008, the municipal government is working to make Barcelona an active inclusion city and so would now like to apply the proposals laid out in the new social investment package for 2014 to 2020. Since 2011, the municipal budget for social action has grown 30%. Effective new tools have been created to prevent and deal with risk of exclusion, like the Social Inclusion Plan 2012 to 2015 and the other sectorial and transversal plans. With these instruments, Barcelona is moving towards recovery. The waiting list for a first visit with social services has been reduced. Social services centres are more efficient and better coordinate the demands of residents, working with the idea of creating a single point of contact. Home care and telecare services have gained in quality and number of users. Home care services currently reach 18,000 people and telecare more than 67,000. The city has a new policy regarding the homeless, opening up new shelters. A new winter centre has also been opened, with a new action plan. Now they provide global care for those who come to the centre within social services. New municipal public housing projects are being created, and the city council is mediating with the banks to avoid evictions and strengthen its policy regarding the homeless. Services are grouped in hubs geared towards specific groups like young people, women who have been the victim of domestic violence and teenagers. The unregulated settlements of undocumented immigrants are being progressively eliminated and residents from these areas are being moved to other housing and offered pathways toward integration. Public-private partnerships have been fostered to manage public services, with special attention to bodies in the third sector of social action. A line of social innovation has been created to encourage residents to contribute their own imaginative, regenerative solutions. The City Council has improved its social responsibility policy through its responsible procurement measure, introducing social clauses in procurement processes. Barcelona is clearly committed to sports as a tool for social cohesion, coexistence and teaching values launching programs such as Convivime Sportivamen and Esporting Clo. In order to tackle all of these challenges, Barcelona is working with other European cities to exchange and transfer good practices in inclusion. Barcelona City Council, aware of the current situation, has made a decided commitment to work side by side with all of the social stakeholders in the city through a shared strategy for social inclusion, which is a true paradigm shift. The goal is to work together to make Barcelona a city of the people.